Morning guys! It's a bit wet and miserable outside so we thought we'd stay in this morning and read a story to you. And the story we've chosen this morning is called The Magic Porridge Pot. Are you ready Liz? Yeah. Hannah had little money and even less food, but whatever she had she always shared. One day Hannah was out for a walk when she saw some bees. What sound do bees make? Aha, she thought. Bees mean honey. Honey. As Hannah ate the honey, an old woman hobbled up swinging an empty pot. Would you like some honey? asked Hannah. Oh, yes, please, said the woman. It will go perfectly with my porridge. Porridge? What porridge? said Hannah. The woman smiled. Watch, she said. What magic words does she say? Cook, pot, cook. Cook, pot, cook. With a sizzle of magic, steaming porridge filled the pot. And then what does she say? She says, stop, pot, stop. Then, just as quickly, it stopped. They each ate a bowl of delicious porridge drizzled with sweet, sticky honey. Would you like the pot, said the woman. Remember the magic words and you'll never go hungry again. Mm. Mm. From then on, Hannah had plenty to eat. Mm. She had porridge for breakfast, porridge for lunch, and porridge for supper. Do you like porridge? Uh, no. No. Jack does, doesn't he? Mm, porridge. One day he didn't eat all of his porridge. Time. One evening, a greedy boy smelled the porridge. Hmm. Apple Jack. What's that? He followed his nose to Hannah's cottage. He saw the pot start to fill with porridge. I want that pot. But Hannah drew the curtains so he didn't see it stop. The boy waited for Hannah to go to bed. Then he tiptoed in grabbed the pot and ran all the way home. He couldn't wait to shout the magic words. What does he say? Stop. Cook. Cook, cook, pot, cook. With a sizzle of magic, the pot filled with porridge. It got fuller and fuller. Fuller and fuller. That's enough, said the boy. You can stop now. And the doggy says, what a mess. Really but the pot not. didn't stop. No, it didn't. Uh -oh. uh oh. Puddles of porridge poured onto the floor. <sighs> That's too much, cried the boy. Stop, I tell you. But the pot didn't stop. It filled the room with a gloopy sea of porridge. Yeah, that's not good, is it? Mom? No. Soon, porridge was pouring out of the doors and windows. Please stop, begged the boy, but the pot didn't stop. The boy splashed out into the night. Help! 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 <laughs> stop, 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 he yelled. I'll drown in porridge, but the pot still didn't stop. stop. In her bedroom, Hannah sniffed. That smells like porridge, she thought. She raced outside. Porridge was flooding down the street. Oh no, it must be the pot. Hannah shouted the magic words. Stop, pot, stop. And at last the pot stopped. The greedy boy was saved. He couldn't return Hannah's pot fast enough and he never stole anything again. Do you like that story? Yeah, can we watch it now? In a moment. If you had a magic pot yeah. that filled up yeah. with something, with something to eat, every time you told it to, what would you want it to fill up with? Uh, sweets. Sweets? I'm surprised you didn't say spaghetti bolognese. And spaghetti bolognese and chocolate cake. I think mummy would have hers filled with crisps. 
Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah. Right, should we say bye to everyone? And jelly. And jelly? Jelly. You don't even really like jelly. I do like jelly. I'm oh. and I love it. What, with ice cream? Yeah. Yeah. Let's say goodbye to everyone then. Goodbye. Bye. See you soon.